speaking uh, on behalf of the amendment. Gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Wait a minute, I, I, yeah. I first want to uh, thank the gentleman from Ohio for bringing the amendment. And uh, obviously, the, the, my Democrat colleagues make a, a point that uh, not every time a good guy has a gun does he stop a bad guy with a gun. Um, but it does happen on occasion. Um, not every time that someone uh, locks up a gun in a home do they stop someone uh, in a nearby school from entering and, and firing a gun. Uh, none of these measures that the Democrats have proposed today stop all violence. Uh, Mr. Shabbat's amendment is intended to help. It's not intended to, and, and nobody suggests that it does, uh, eliminate all chances of violence. But I want to uh, respond to the gentlelady from Texas when uh, she talked about the dark vision uh, that Republicans have. Um, I, I, uh, I think a lot of people in this country are offended that uh, the, the lady would uh, go that direction. Um, first of all, she, she said that uh, anyone who wants to own a gun, uh, Republicans believe anyone who wants to own a gun should be able to get one. I don't believe that. I don't think most of my Republican colleagues, if any, believe that. I think that uh, anybody who has been convicted of a dangerous uh, felony, a violent felony, should not have a gun. Um, I think it's quite obvious uh, that there are people in this country that uh, have forfeited their right to guns. As, as, as has been mentioned before, the Second Amendment's not absolute, and, and we should take that. Um, but the gentlelady talked about a dark vision that Republicans have for America, that, uh, that somehow a good guy with a gun is um, uh, not able, uh, uh, is not enough to, to stop a bad guy with a gun. Well, you, well, the Democrats have taken away the ability of a good guy to have a gun in a school uh, to, to stop uh, bad guys. A teacher who wants to bring a gun to school, uh, an administrator, a coach, others can't do that right now. But I also think that, you know, if you want to point out dark visions for America, um, I, I think when the Democrats argue uh, for an open border, what they're arguing for is to allow dangerous uh, gang members to come across that border, MS-13 and others. And they have. Uh, when they open the border up, they allow uh, dangerous drugs to come across the border, like fentanyl. Leading cause of death for 18 to 45-year-olds in this country is drug overdose. Um, that is a direct relation that is directly uh, uh, occurs because of the open border policies of this administration, particularly Secretary Mayorkas. When you open a border, you allow terrorists to come across the border. When you open a border, uh, I think it was Mr. Cohen who mentioned earlier about the gun parts that, that are coming in from China that allow a semi-automatic weapon to be uh, converted into an automatic weapon. That happens by opening a border and letting it come across. But we don't hear Democrats talk about that as a solution it, to close our border and to get a grip on uh, the terrible things that have been happening as a result of that. Uh, they, you know, the, the Democrats uh, have, have promoted a culture of death in this country with their views on abortion. We have late-term abortions, absolutely horrific late-term abortions that somehow the Democrats think uh, you know, can happen in a vacuum and that it won't have an impact on the rest of society. We have uh, uh, people being paid not to work. Um, oftentimes, those people are, are also using drugs, getting money from the government to buy uh, the drugs. We have uh, gas prices skyrocketing in this country. Are those uh, the dark vision of the Democrat party? I don't think so. I think they're bad policies that have been made by the liberal progressives in the Democrat party, but I don't think that they're dark, they're dark vision uh, of the Democrats. And I think what we have to do is make sure we get away from the kind of language that the general lady from Texas used to accuse Republicans of having some kind of dark vision. We care deeply about what's happening in our schools. We disagree that these shallow, uh, inconsequential bills will have an impact on that. What I'm asking for and what many of my colleagues in, in uh, Congress are asking for, let's have some meaningful discussion on how to get to the bottom line, how to, how to address not the gun, but the person behind the gun, how to address the, the sickness, the evil that we see in our society that, that will allow us to get to the point where uh, we are a, a safer country. And I thank the gentleman from Ohio for offering one small piece of that. Um, and, and really disappointing that the Democrats won't acknowledge that it is a small piece, but it is a positive step in what we can do. 
with that, I yield back. Gentleman yields back. What purpose does the gentleman from uh, Rhode Island seek recognition? I move to strike the last word. The gentleman is recognized. I, I first want to say, in response to the gentleman from Texas's comment about, 